Hello guys, my name is Nikander, I'm a professional blockchain developer and in this guide we will see how to emit logs on the Ton blockchain. Let's get started. Open VS Code, create new project, npm create Ton latest. The project name is emit logs. The first smart contract name is the same emit logs. Select an empty tagged contract. Wait for a few moments, navigate to the project directory and clear the console. Now we are ready to write our smart contract code. Open the contract file in the contracts folder. Clear the auto-generated comments. Declare a variable val of type int. Store it as int64. In the init function we initialize val to some random number. This sets the starting value of val when the contract is deployed. This variable isn't used later in the contract, it's added to make the contract unique. On the Tone blockchain, deploying the same code results in the same address. By adding this unique variable, we ensure that during deployment we don't accidentally attempt to deploy a contract with the same address as an existing one. Create a receive function that handles messages of type action. When an action message is received, it processes the message and emits a log with the comment action handled to indicate that the action was successfully processed. This demonstrates how we can emit logs with custom messages to track contract actions, the emit function outputs a message, binary or textual, from the contract. This message does not actually have a recipient and is very gas efficient, because it doesn't need to be delivered. Create a receive function that handles messages of type transfer. When a transfer message is received, it processes the message and emits a log indicating that a transfer occurred. The log contains a message. Let's define this message. Define a message type called transfer event that contains two fields, amount which is of type int and stored as coins and recipient which is of type address. This message is used to represent the details of a transfer event including the amount transferred and the recipient's address. The log contains a transfer event message with the transfer amount of 1.25 ton and the sender address. Create a receive function that handles messages of type stake. When a stake message is received, it processes the message and emits a log indicating that staking occurred. The log contains a message. Define a message type called stake event that contains a single field amount which is of type int and stored as coins. This message is used to represent the details of a staking event, specifically the amount that has been staked. The log contains a stake event message with the staking amount of 0.007 ton. Our contract is ready. We can build it. npx blueprint build. Great, we have no errors. Let's deploy it on the testnet. npx blueprint run. Select a testnet. Ton wallet. Ton keeper wallet. Scan the appeared QR code with your Tonekeeper wallet. Confirm the connection and then sign the transaction. Wait for a few moments until the deployed contract address is shown. We will need it later. Now create a new file called trigger action in the scripts folder. We will use this script for interacting with the emit logs contract by sending an action message. 
define an asynchronous function run that takes a network provider as an argument. Inside this function, open the emit logs contract using the provided address and the network provider. Send an action message to the emit logs contract from the provider's address with a value of 0.05 ton and then log a message to the console indicating that the action message has been sent. Now to send an action message, we just need to run this script and confirm the transaction in our wallet. npx blueprint run. Select the trigger action script testnet ton connect and confirm the transaction in your tonekeeper wallet. Now we need to repeat the process for transfer message. Create a trigger transfer file in the scripts folder. Copy the code of the trigger action script and paste it to the trigger transfer file. Change the tone value to 1.5, change the message to transfer and change the lock from action to transfer. Run the trigger transfer script and confirm the transaction in your tonekeeper wallet. Let's do the same thing for the stake message. Create a trigger stake file in the scripts folder. Paste the code. Change the message from action to stake. And change the log from action to stake. Run the trigger stake script and confirm the transaction in your Tonekeeper wallet. Now we need to create the final script that will help us read the logs from the Ton testnet blockchain. Create a file called retrieve logs in the scripts folder. For simplicity, I have prepared a ready to use script in my GitHub repository, YouTube lesson 11. You can just copy and paste it here. We need to change the contract address to our contract address. Also, we need to check the actual header numbers of the contract events. Copy an event name, for example, the transfer event. Open the emit logs.ts in the wrappers folder. Click on the file path. Search for the copied event and copy the header number. You can find it inside the store unit function. Go back to the retrieve logs script and paste the header number near the transfer event. Do the same thing for stake event. Our script is ready, we can run it. npx blueprint run. Retrieve logs file. Select the same options, but this time we won't need to sign any transactions in our wallet. Great, now we can see the logs of our smart contract. The first one is action handled, the second one is transfer event and the third one is stake event. That's it for today folks, thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. See you in the next video.